Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So on the channel over the last couple of months, we've been discussing in depth Google's deprecation of Manifest V2 extensions. And one of those would be uBlock Origin as an example, as you may well know, and replacing V2 with Manifest V3 extensions. And a quick recap why Google um, is doing this. Basically, they've changed from V2 to V3 because of privacy and security concerns, according to Google with the Manifest V2 framework, which according to Google, the Manifest V2 framework, they say presents security risks by allowing unreviewed code to be executed in extensions, quote unquote. Now, it seems that according to Google, Manifest V3 is a better and safer option. And um, because according to Google, it only allows an extension to execute JavaScript as part of its package. And uh, um, this can obviously decrease the risk of security breaches and so on. And just to let you know now that it seems that this may all be in vain because a recent post by Windows Central, which I'll leave linked uh, in the description, indicates that Google Chrome's Manifest V3 framework could pose a major security threat over and above what Google has said regarding the increase in privacy and security. And I thought this was interesting. So just a quick overview. Now, this is according to research by Square X, according to Windows Central, that shows that some browser extensions can still um, bypass the Manifest V3 framework's security measures. And according to the research done by um, the so-called Square X, um, malicious browser extensions can bypass the Manifest V3 framework security, which at the end of the day grants that extension unauthorized access to things like live video streams, including Google Meet and Zoom on the web. And apparently Google also faced similar issues with the Manifest V2 framework which was the whole reason they said they were, were moving from V2 to V3. Now, how this all basically works, um, according to this research, these so-called malicious extensions can be used to lure so-called unsuspecting users into phishing scams that are fronted as password managers. And what this can do then, um, the extensions can access your browsing and download history cookies, bookmarks, and so on. But according to the research that was done, um, the researchers have highlighted several solutions to kind of mitigate these issues. And these include fine-tuning, they say, policies that allow admins, administrators, to control extension access based on reviews. So that would be over um, on the Chrome Web Store. And ratings as well over on the Chrome Web Store and extension permissions and the actual update history of that actual extension. So they have got a couple of recommendations in place. But the main thing I wanted to get across um, was um, that this research firm, as mentioned, called Square X, has basically said that Google Chrome's V3 framework poses just as much a major security threat as the V2 um, does and did according to Google, which they say they upgraded to V3 for privacy, better privacy and security. So um, obviously this is just one company who's done research, but I thought it was interesting. And let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you think Google's um, departure from V2, like uBlock Origin as an example, to V3 is justified? Let me know what you think down in the comments. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.